Veteran Police Officer Sergeant David Fitzpatrick of the Colony Police Department died after collapsing at work last Friday. Today, Sergeant Fitzpatrick answered his final call. This one at Methodist, Dallas. First responders and medical professionals lined the hallway for what they call an honor walk to pay tribute to the life-saving gift that Fitzpatrick now leaves behind through his organ donation. Very emotional because a lot of us that see this uh, work on the donor after he's died and we also put the organs in so we see the completion of the entire circle uh, where the donated organs save someone's lives. I think this shows a lot more the compassion and the humanity what go, what goes on behind organ donation and the appreciation that people have for this. I think that people who are aware of what they can do by donating their organs uh, save lives and I think with his sacrifice maybe one person who was not going to be an organ donor is now convinced that they should be and I think that's what we need to see in this country in order to save more lives. They talk about heroes all the time and uh, these people are the heroes for us and they're the heroes for the patient on dialysis or the patient who's in acute liver failure or heart failure because they're the ones who are going to have their lives saved so uh, you don't necessarily have to do anything besides sign the back of your license or your organ donor card to become a hero, just like this officer was. It is as simple as that. Sergeant Fitzpatrick was with the Colony Police Department for 28 years. Funeral arrangements are pending. Notes and cards, we are told, for the family can be dropped off at the police department headquarters right now. And here's some facts about organ donation. According to Donate Life Texas, the official organ donor registry in the state, an estimated 125,000 men, women, and children are currently waiting for a transplant. It's estimated one person is added to the waiting list every 10 minutes. More than 1,300 people who have registered with Donate Life Texas have become organ donors. People of any age, race, or health status are encouraged to register and we do have a link on our website cbsdfw.com you can click on links and numbers uh, another important number to keep in perspective a single organ donor can save up to eight lives so that is the impact that sergeant fitzpatrick will be leaving behind and the one thing you mentioned in there that i think is worth repeating and that is age you don't have to just be a 20 30 40 60 sure. year old to do this Teenagers matter as well. The, the reality is, is that things happen, lives are lost, but so many lives can be saved as well. So have the discussion when you feel you're ready within your own family with those kids old enough to have that kind of discussion, whether or not they want to participate. Advice.